Hi everyone, my name is Rahul and in this video we'll be talking about dependency confusion. So this is one of the overlooked uh, issues that still exists today and it might help you get a good bounty. And in this video I'll be first talking about dependency confusion, how you can look that up and secondly I'll be showing you a small POC also so that it can help you uh, build up your own POCs. Let's just get right into it. So here I have a small diagram for dependency confusion so let's assume that you have a website now you and i know for a fact that no one will build his or her website from scratch so there are packages that they will tend to use so that it can make their lives easier so one such uh, file that stores the name and the versions of all those packages is called the package.json file now, if you open that up, you, you might find a list of packages. So here I have a list of packages, which is package one, package two, and third one is package error. Now, if you see, I have highlighted this and why is that? So let's suppose that package one exists in the NPM repository, package two exists, but package error does not exist. Uh, just a bit of a disclaimer that we are talking about a website that runs on node. So we have three packages and two of them exist in the NPM repository, but the third one does not. Now what happens is you have identified a package that does not exist there. So what is the next thing that you'll tend to do? What you can do is you can create your own package and host it up on npm.js. And whenever this website is up and running, this package will be pulled up from the npm.js uh, libraries and it should be executed. So here I have package.json and here as you can see it's, it has a name of demo app and there is a pre-install key where I have written node index.js. So when it comes to npm there is something called pre-install. So what pre-install does is if you have this you can tell which scripts to run before the actual package is installed. So what I have done here is I have instructed it to run a file called node.js. So what is inside index.js? So if you see, I had instructed it to run index.js and so what I'm doing here is I'm running who am I and I'm exfiltrating it through DNS lookups. I have appended $a here along with the name of the link that I controlled. So let's see what actually happened when I tried to execute it. So who am I? Uh, this is my name. And when I try to install, uh, run it by typing in npm install, it went to the package.json file and ended up executing this. So as you can see, this has executed this. But what use is of this to us, right? But if you see, in my bug collaborator, I got a hit. So this is how you can try to exfiltrate information using dependency confusion.